बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर मे आई हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस डिबेट दिस इज अ प्राइवेट मेंबर्स बिल एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द मूवर ऑफ दिस बिल फॉर हैविंग ब्रॉड दिस बिल अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट हैज बीन रेस्ड दैट राइट टू वर्क शुड बी मेड अ फंडामेंटल राइट राइट टू वर्क इज द बर्थ राइट ऑफ एवरी बडी हाउ एवर पुअर और हाउ एवर रिच वेदर अ मैन और अ वुमेन वी हैव राइट टू property as a fundamental right in our country but it is really sad that right to work which provides right to live should not be made a fundamental right and should only be a directive principle why has this happened why could it not be made a fundamental right till now it is known that once it becomes a fundamental right it becomes justiciable that means that a person can go to the high court or supreme court and say that it is his fundamental right and he must get a job but as the government was not sure that it would be able to provide employment to every citizen it did not do so because a fundamental right can not be made only for a particular age group it is for all citizens and every unemployed citizen can come to the court and claim his right for a job to be given to him that was the real apprehension reluctance on the part of the government but this helps us to raise a larger economic issue of how we can create conditions in our country where every work worthy person would have a job it is this subject which is being debated and this is what should be debated as the most important subject in the parliament and in the country today unfortunately i find very few people taking interest in this today if we just introspect and sit a little coolly and consider how much energy is being wasted on trying to win debating points trying to be sensational trying to be mere superficial debate in this country we will find that we are doing that too much but the real issue is how to provide employment to every young man of this country because after all what is socialism when we say that we have pledged ourselves in the 
preamble that we will establish a democratic socialist secular sovereign republic what does it mean what is socialism it means all members of our society must have an equal opportunity to live a decent human life such conditions must be created in our society where every single individual should have that right that is the simple meaning of the word socialism a society where a few do not have an opportunity and a right to exploit and extort such a society should be created and this is what socialism means and to bring it about within the framework of a democratic structure by the will of the people is the meaning of the concept which our founding fathers have a uh, enshrined in the constitution when they said that we will have a democratic socialist society let us ask ourselves this question have we succeeded in doing it when i am participating in the debate today i am not going to speak for the point of view of winning or scoring the debating points between people on this side or that side i think it is the duty of all of us these 800 people in this house and in that house who have been entrusted by 80 crores of people of this country with the task of doing something that will change their destiny and change their life it is incumbent on us to sit down and to give the topmost priority to consider as to how we can achieve this and if this is given priority sir i am sure a way can be found instead of wasting our energy on other matters let us concentrate on this matter i am absolutely one with my friends when they say that this should be given the top priority what do the young people of this country expect why are they restive why are they frustrated it is because they are not employed they do not have productive employment creative employment that is why they feel frustrated by and large if this is the fact sir then let us consider how this can be achieved if you want to provide employment that employment must be productive what is wealth wealth is goods and services it is not notes the currency notes are actually the means of exchange 
the wealth is goods when do you say that a man is poor it is when he is not able to have even the necessities of life now how can you make them available to him obviously first they must be produced and then he must have the purchasing power to buy them how can he have the purchasing power unless he has remunerative work